This game of Dungeons & Dragons Attack Wing will feature two 120-point legions of dragons going head-to-head -head in a game of Capture the Flag. I'm Adeldia. Uh, today I have a Chimera Predator, and he looks pretty scary. And I have an Ancient White Dragon, and I have Clawgiliumatar. A really old named green dragon. Well, I picked the green dragon because I hadn't played with the green dragon yet and um, I ended up picking the named because I wanted to have somebody who um, had a little bit of extra oomph to him um, and I already had the other two guys picked out um, again because the I wanted the white dragon because I hadn't used him yet and wanted to see what he was like um, and then the I like the chimera because he has lots of heads. Hi, I'm Rorlands, and uh, for my team, I'm bringing Galadros, and he's going to be my flag carrier because I'm hoping for speed and dodging once he gets his hands on the flag. I have a uh, young brass that um, I had points, and I'm, I'm hoping he can be a diversion because for my gold tender, I'm taking the Dwarven Ballista Calamity, and I'm putting a ton of points into this guy, so if he does not deliver, um, some Dwarven heads are going to roll. Seriously roll. The game begins with Adeldia on your left and Rorlins on your right. Adeldia's forces move straight up the middle, driving at the flag, while Rorlins splits his into two pincers, leaving the ballista to cover the flag. On this turn, Rorlins begins to turn in with the brass dragon, leaving his copper to go wide. Adeldia swings into the middle, concentrating her forces on the smaller dragon first. Then I had my first encounter with Calamity the Ballista, and boy is that thing aptly named, because it was a big calamity. My ancient white dragon was down to half health, and all of a sudden, things were not looking so good. However, on the same turn, Adelia's green dragon destroyed the brass in a single breath weapon blast. While the brass returned fire, it was not enough to down the other dragon. So after I took out his brass dragon, I was feeling pretty confident because it went pretty quickly. It was one one pass and it was down and so I thought, yeah, I got this in the bag. Yeah, so that didn't go real well. Um, he, like, that's it. First pass and he's out. And uh, I kind of, I thought he was going to last a lot longer and I'm outnumbered now. So I'm not sure what's going to happen next. Emboldened by having taken first blood, Adeldia presses in on the flag capturing it as her white dragon sweeps past the ballista. Orleans, meanwhile, continues his long, slow arc behind her lines, preparing possibly to take the flag for himself. What was I thinking when I got the flag? I was thinking maybe I can pull this out. I've already knocked out one of his guys, and I'm the first one to pick up the flag, so maybe this is going to be a positive game. Okay, so she's got the flag, and she's flying away with it, and um, Calamity hasn't really done its job yet because there are still three things up there so we'll see what happens away from the action galadros continues his long slow arc scooping up adeldia's flag and passing meanwhile adeldia and dragons with their flag in hand begin their drive back to home base all right at this point i'm starting to feel pretty good because um he's come through and he's got the flag all i gotta do now is not lose it and get back to, uh, get my flag back in. Um, I don't know, we'll see, if, we'll see if we can pull it off. With Adeldia's flag in its claws, Rorland sends his copper dragon back towards his own flag post, using its speed as its greatest defense. Meanwhile, Adeldia's dragons begin to circle back, hoping to knock the flag loose from the copper, while at the same time dodging blasts from the ballista. Unfortunately for Adeldia, Calamity's ballista bolts knock the white dragon loose, forcing it to drop the flag. As it looks up from having watched the flag fall back to its post, it sees a blast from the copper coming straight at it, which knocks the white dragon out of the sky. In response, her remaining creatures begin to circle, but are not able to stop the copper before it reaches scoring position. So here I am at the end of the game, and all I can think is, what happened? It started out so great, I was on the road to victory, and then all of a sudden, 
boom. And, and I don't know where it all came from. So, you know, all of a sudden all my guys are out at the edge of the map, not being able to do anything. And I'm swinging back in to do something and it's just kaboom everywhere. And, and it's like, he didn't even need that other dragon because what he had was more than enough to knock everybody else out of the sky. I had a great time. Um, I feel kind of bad for winning because I feel like I had a little more knowledge of the cards than Adelia did, um, but we don't get to play much. So I'm hoping that even though um, I won, that she's still going to come back for a rematch because this is a great game and we had a great time doing it. And it's just great to spend time with my beautiful wife. So hopefully she's not so mad at me that she won't have a rematch. Is there going to be a rematch? Maybe when I get a little confidence back. I think we might have to figure out how I could better either better equip those dragons that I had or pick a better team who's faster and with a little better defense because um, now that I look back I picked a pretty fast but weak team because they were they were like hey let's run but oh, if you get me I'm gone so uh, maybe next time a little bit more more Defense on my side might make the difference between winning and losing.